y'all doing? I hope everything is going well for everybody out there. Thank you guys so much for clicking on my video. And for all of my old subscribers, I know y'all are like, damn, she is so inconsistent. Like, yeah, once again, this is my channel and I can do what I want. And I'm not even going to lie. When YouTube did that whole new uh, requirements for monetization and they cut all my monetization off, I was like, eh, I'm not. But anywho. <laughs> I'm back, <laughs> so allow me to please reintroduce myself. My name is Brooke Ebony, and I just wanted to bring my channel all the way back, and uh, what better topic to talk about than something that I have been doing for over 10 years, which is nursing. I see a lot of ladies, shout out to Carly Rae. Um, she was the first person that I saw putting up uh, nursing videos, but I do see a lot of ladies that are putting up videos completely about just being a nurse but what I do not see is they're putting out video ladies putting out videos that are the type of nurse that I am so let's go ahead on and pop this off the type of nurse that I am is a licensed practical nurse I am an LPN and in some states, I do know that it's called a licensed vocational nurse or an LVN. But um, since I'm in the great old natural state of Arkansas, I'm just going to say what I've been saying for years, which is licensed practical nurse or an LPN. Um, I got some notes written down. So um, if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So let's talk about what the difference between an LPN and an RN is. And this is just my opinion. Um, you need to, if you are looking into these fields, go and get that research and that clarification um, for yourself. But from what I have gathered, the only difference um, as far as scope of, of practice goes um, with LPNs and RNs that that um, RNs can do that we can't is hang blood and pull pick lines. And I'm, per I'm totally fine with it because I don't want to do that no way. <laughs> so but um, it may be a few other things, which is why I'm saying, you know, look at your scope of practice and get that clarification for yourself. Of course, there is also a difference in the rate of pay. I'm not going to say that there is a huge difference, but there is a difference in the rate of pay. Um, of course, RNs are going to get paid more because they went to school longer. So that's just what it is. Um, I went to school for 11 months to get my RN. Um, and the only prereq that I had to have was nutrition to get into the program um, RNs have to have anywhere between from 8 to 11 sometimes even more prereqs to get into the RN programs that they go to um, these videos my little nursing series videos will not be about being an RN because I'm not one but I do know I have researched um, what it takes to become one and so um, some programs like a diploma program you may only go for two years um, of course for your BSN you're gonna go for four and then for your own up you're gonna just you know go for more and more years so um, ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> So, yes, I went to school for 11 months um, to become an LPN. I started school in June of 2008, and I graduated, and um, I believe, no, I started in July 2008, and I graduated in June 2009. Hence, I have been a nurse just last month for 10 years, a licensed practical nurse. Um, I decided to... Um, step into nursing because I was really kind of confused um, coming out of high school I think I worked um, maybe two I think I did Walmart and then I did Home Depot coming straight out um, I had had a daughter I walked across the stage six months pregnant with my oldest daughter and then I ended up um, having another baby and so my auntie who was an RN pretty much was like hey you know I'm gonna need you to get a grip on life what, what you gonna do because you haven't did you know you haven't told us anything about going to college or anything like that so what are you gonna do and I was like I don't know you know what I'm saying <laughs> I didn't really have like a passion passion back then. I've always wanted to be in the beauty industry, but I knew I didn't want to do hair. So it was just like, I don't know. And so she just kind of came up with this whole life plan for me. She was like, you're going to go to the LPN program and then you're going to find you a weekend option job. You're going to do your prereqs and then you're going to go to RN school. And that's just what, you know, what it is. And I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I hadn't came up with anything better. So who was I to refute that? You know, of course I had two daughters at that time. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So, um, 
as you can see 10 years later i am still an lpn um and that's just hey message to all my girls with that same plan um if you're gonna do that do exactly how she said to do it get out of the lpn program find a weekend option go right back because my plan was to take a month off because i was sick of school when i tell you the lpn program is it is a beast, honey. It is no, it's no joke. So my plan was to take a month off, but see, I got out of school and I got used to making that LPN money and that month off turned into a year off, turned into two years off. And here I am, you know, a part of a whole nother field. I still do nursing, but a part of a whole nother field 10 years later. So if you're going to, if that's your plan, go straight through. Don't stop. Don't take no breaks. Just do it. I mean, go ahead on and um, make it do what it do. So my next topic is um, how long was school? And I believe I already uh, covered that for licensed practical nurses. You're going to go to school. And it just depends on the type of program that you uh, go to. I went to the full-time uh, LPN program. So I was in school Monday through Friday from anywhere from from 8 to 4 30 if you know um i was done with whatever subject we were doing i could leave a little earlier than that but it was monday through friday for me from 8 to 4 30 5 o'clock so um no i didn't work or anything it was just straight school um so yeah and I, I have a hell of a support system so I could do that but um, I'm not saying that it can't be done because we did have students in there that worked along with the program so um, but they do have two year LPN programs which are part time programs where you will only go like one or two days out of the week full time days I mean full days one or two days or you'll go in the evening times from maybe like five to ten but you know it is a lot of information it is a lot of information that they are cramming into a short amount of time so um you will go for a full two years if you find a part-time program which is what i would recommend if you don't have a lot of support and you need to work so um but yeah so the type of experience that i have as a nurse um over the 10 years for the first maybe seven I would say about seven I did straight long-term care um, and that's simply because I you know you can say I may have been a little bit greedy but long-term care for LPNs is where the money is and uh, for you those of you that don't know long-term care is nursing homes so um, and that's just where the money is and I just feel like I had went to school and I worked so hard to get those licenses. I'm not going to work for less than um, I believe I got offered a job at the hospital right out of school and they were offering $12 an hour and I was making it at Home Depot so it was like uh-uh I ain't doing that and um so for the first seven years I did straight long-term care then I took a year off because nursing can get so stressful and I was so burned out I was like I don't I just don't want to do it anymore um and then I got pregnant with my last son he's eight months old now and it was like hey you know I was uh, self-employed and I was like you know I need something more steady so I stepped back into the nursing field but I told myself I'm just done with long-term care long-term care is it can it can really burn you out so I decided to try something different so I went to the prison now I didn't go to the big boy prison I was at the juvenile prison but it's prison all the same <laughs> so um I do have some correctional nursing experience under my belt and um, today, <laughs> hence these scrubs, is my first day working for an agency. So what agency nursing is, is pretty much just a company that hires LPNs, RNs, CNAs, and maybe other um, medical professionals and they'll send you to facilities where they have a shortage of medical professionals. Um, so you'll get a lot of experience working for agencies and I told myself I wouldn't do agency nursing for the simple fact that you never know what you're you're going to be assigned to when you don't even have to take the assignment but you know I like to be completely oriented to the facility and um, I like to be trained and that just was not happening so so that just does not happen with agency nursing agency nursing you're pretty much going to be thrown to the wolves because they just need somebody to cover that spot for that day and you may look up and be able to uh come up on a contract with agency nursing to where but um the likelihood of you being completely trained is slim to none um they're going to probably show you you know here's the mar here's this here's the medication card and you know these are your patients and you're just gonna have to figure it out and um 
I can do that now because I've been a nurse for 10 years. I, you know, I know my way around a med cart. I feel like I am the medication pass guru, baby. I've been doing it for so long. So um, I'm comfortable with it now. And plus there is money in agency nursing as well. When these facilities are short, you know, facilities are regulated by state agencies, outside state agencies. So it is a nurse to patient ratio that they have to have. So when they're short and they're desperate, they're gonna pay. So there's money to be made in agency nursing as well. So those are the three field experiences that I have right now. Um, I probably will never get clinic experience because I think the most that I have ever heard of anybody making at a clinic starting out is like $16. I don't budge for less than 18 and I mean that, honey. So uh, yeah, probably not going to ever happen. Um, and the last topic that I got to talk about because this video is getting a little long is will I ever go back to get my REN degree? And to be honest with you, right now, the answer to that is no. I don't see myself doing it, but you never know what you will and won't do in any given situation. So I can't just honestly say like, you know, I'll never do it. But as of right now, no, um, I did a lot of playing around um, when I first started college or whatever. So I never really did um, get all of the prereqs that are required for that program. So um, I would have to go back and get, you know, those prereqs knocked out. And then I would have to do the whole, you know, year program because the LPN, the RN, Excel program is only like 11 months too but still like I'm just you know I'm just over school like I'm grown I got four kids they in school you know that's that's I so I don't know you know I have my own business now I have actually finally tapped into the beauty industry and I think that's where I want to stay I want to see how I can scale my business and how far I can go in the beauty industry so as of right now no but if you guys are here for the licensed practical nurse the lpn nursing videos and you want to see more make sure you hit that subscribe button tap that bell so you can get notifications i am going to try my best my best my best now that i finally know what i really just want to have my channel about to be consistent on my videos at least once a week so hit that bell so you can be notified whenever i upload if it's a certain lpn topic that you want me to talk about comment that down below if you like this video please hit the thumbs thumbs up button and I will see you guys next time. Thank I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.